Hi everyone, Nicholas Barfidis here from Sunny Cyprus, and today we're talking all about chemistry in Minecraft. Now, usually Minecraft is not associated with chemistry. However, in the education edition, there are some fantastic tools that can really help you teach chemistry to your students and really engage the students in just exploring a little bit more and understanding a lot more about uh, atoms and elements and compounds. So you can see here, I've got the element constructor open and I've already got the composition for protons, electrons and neutrons for technetium. And we're gonna see how we can use the element constructor to create any element essentially in the periodic table. And we're gonna have a look at some other blocks as well. So let's get started. Okay, here I've got some blocks, the blocks that we're going to be looking at. The first one is going to be the element constructor, the material reducer, the compound creator, and the crafting table. So we're gonna be looking at using these four blocks or these four items to teach essentially chemistry. So we're going to add these, and you can see I've added these to my inventory at the bottom on my backpack. And I've simply placed these blocks on the ground there's no reason to put them in any particular order that each block is an individual block i just place them here in order so that i can uh, jump from one block to the other very very easily and quickly so let's look at the first one the element constructor so after you've placed it in fact i'll place another one here so after you've placed it on the ground you can open it simply by right clicking on it and by right clicking on it, it will open the element constructor. Now, essentially, if you enter the right amount of protons, electrons and neutrons for any particular element, it will display that element and you can actually generate that element. So let's take the first one, which is hydrogen has got electrons one, sorry, protons one, electrons one and neutrons one. And now when I click in my element constructor here, it shows me that's hydrogen. And I can take that and put that inside my inventory. Okay, let's have a look at another one and look at a, a little bit more detail here. So I'm going to open up um, from Google here. I've opened up periodic table, just type periodic table. You've got this fantastic periodic table from Google Chrome. And you can basically choose any element in the periodic table and it will give you the description or the information about that element on the right hand side. So I've selected here technetium. You can choose any one, for example, here you've got palladium. Okay, so I'm just going to choose technetium here, and we can see over here that technetium is actually uh, 43. So its atomic number is 43, it means it has 43 electrons, 43 uh, protons. So let's just go enter that in. So I'm going to click here and type in 43. I'm going to click here and type 43 because electrons and neutrons should be the same. And now the neutrons, the neutrons, the neutrons are actually calculated. Now I'm not here to teach you chemistry, and I wasn't that really very good at chemistry myself, to be honest. However, if we have a look over here, the atomic mass of technetium is 98. So to calculate the neutrons, essentially we take the atomic mass and subtract the atomic number. So if the atomic mass here is 98, I'm just going to punch that in there, 98 minus 43 which is its atomic number so minus 43 so that should give us 55 now if i enter 55 here and i click over here i've got technetium fantastic now there's one more thing we have what we call isotopes and that is when we've got the variation of uh, neutrons. So if you want to find all the isotopes of technetium, let's say I was to put 54, that's basically uh, an isotope for um, technetium. And if I put 56, that is also an isotope for technetium. If I put 40, 57, for example, that's not possible. So I'm clicking here, that doesn't exist. And the same goes for 54. So you can in this particular case, you've got a negative and a positive for isotope. The most stable um, is going to be with 55 neutrons. Okay, and then you've got the isotopes 54 to 56. So that's the element constructor. You know, um, you can get students to have a look at the different elements, test them out, calculate the atomic, uh, the neutrons based on the atomic number and the atomic mass, uh, the atomic number and the atomic mass, correct? And also find out how many isotopes there are for that element. 
Okay, let's go to the next building block now. So I'm just going to break that and now go to these ones over here. This one here is the material reducer. Now, before I actually use this, I'm going to add some items in my inventory. I'm going to add stone. This was a good example of how you can actually get students to research on, on a topic. So I'm just going to get some stone here. I'll just find that now. That's your first stone. Now, this is the one I want stone with uh, nothing else, just stone. I'm going to get some lava. And I'm also going to add some water just so we can actually see the comparison here. Okay, so I'm going to go to my material reducer now. Again, I'm going to right click on this. And I'm going to add, first of all, water in the material reducer. Now, most of us know that water is made up of H2O, two hydrogen versus one oxygen. So we're looking at uh, about 66 to 67 percent um, hydrogen and 33 percent oxygen. So for every oxygen, there's two hydrogen. So I'm going to take this water and add that there. And we can see here I have one stack of oxygen which has got 33. So remember, a stack in Minecraft maximum is 64. And I've got two stacks here of hydrogen. One is 64 and the other one's three. Now this one's 64, that's the maximum. And because it's got some more, it's created another stack here for three. So 64 and three is actually 67 compared to 33 oxygen. So this is actually the percentage of hydrogen compared to the percentage of oxygen. So you've got 67% hydrogen and 33% oxygen, making H2O, twice as much hydrogen as we have oxygen. So let's just press escape here because I don't want to store those. Right click on the material reducer. And here was, here's what um, a nice example was. If you take the chemical composition of stone, and that will be usually what if you you know if you ask students what lava is made up of, well they they will turn around and say, well it's molten stone. And we can see here that the chemical composition of stone is actually 33% silicon and 67, so the 64 and three more over here, 67% oxygen. So again, that's twice as much oxygen as there is silicon. Okay, so if you were to press escape here, go back again. If you were to take molten lava, for example, as it's molten rock or stone, you can turn around and say that most likely the chemical composition of lava is going to be uh, silicon and oxygen. And when they actually place this inside the material reducer, we can see that's not the case. We can see lava is actually made up of oxygen, silicon, 47% oxygen, 28% silicon, so slightly less silicon now, um, less oxygen. We've got aluminium, we've got 5% iron, 4% uh, calcium. I mean, you can, this could be a question that they can go and research and say, well, why does lava contain other elements like aluminium, sodium, uh, potassium? Where do all these things come from? And yeah, the answer is going to be that the molten stone is going to um, dissolve and absorb other chemicals in the earth as well before it comes out as molten lava. And these are some of the chemicals that, it, that will be added into molten lava. So that's the material reducer. You can go find natural elements. Obviously, the elements which only exist in Minecraft and this and the other um, are not going to be reduced down to the components. Okay, so that's the material reducer. Let's now go to the next one. The next one is actually the compound creator. Now here we can create compounds by, you know, mixing different things together. So the first thing that we're going to learn to do is learn how to make latex so that we can then create a helium balloon. So here's something students can go and uh, research and, and learn about, you know, what is latex made up of? What kind of compound is it? It's a hydro, a hydro compound. And essentially, it takes hydrogen and carbon to create latex. So we're going to create latex now. And then we're going to use that latex that we've created to put it together in our crafting table over here so that we can actually craft a balloon. Now, the crafting table will allow us to create different things or different items in Minecraft. So let's get started with that. So the first thing that I'm going to need 
is go to my inventory. I'm going to get rid of these things here. And I'm going to need hydrogen. So I'm just going to add my hydrogen here. And I'm also going to take some carbon. Let's escape. And now we're going to open up our compound creator. So essentially to create, now I'm going to add a link in the description, which has all the different things that you can create in the compound creator, um, the, all the different uh, compounds that you can create. So that's, I'm going to show you a quick view of that in a second as well. So I'm going to take the hydrogen here and I'm going to add a hydrogen. Now, if I click with the left mouse button, it's going to add the whole stack, 64. For latex, I need a hydrogen. So I'm going to place my mouse on this corner uh, item here and I'm going to use the right mouse button to click eight times and by clicking eight times every time I click so if I click one time it's added one hydrogen right click again there's two hydrogen keep clicking now if you go too much and you want to remove some the easiest way to start again essentially is to take your stack click with the left mouse button to put everything there click with your left mouse button again to lift it up and now you can just use the right click again to add eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I'm going to put this stack back. Now I'm going to take the carbon and I'm going to add five. One, two, three, four, five. And you can see we've created something here. And if I put my mouse on top of that, there it is. I've made latex. So I'm going to take this latex, put this down here, and that's part of my inventory now. So I've got 64 units of latex or one complete stack i can add more so if i click on this again i can add more of those there it depends on how many balloons you're going to make okay so i've got latex i'm just going to put these things up here so i've got a uh, space for in my inventory here to add the I other items i need to create a helium balloon Okay, to create the helium balloon, I'm going to move over here to the right hand side and go to my crafting table. So I'm going to right click on this. Now, actually, before I do that, I need to add the items that I need for my balloon. So I'm going to click on E for my inventory and I'm going to now look for, well, it's a helium balloon, so I need helium. I need a piece of string to hold the balloon. So that's going to be a lead. There you go. Get a lead so it's a lead and the last thing i want i want some color for my balloon so i'm going to get some dye and here you can choose different colors uh to dye your balloon i'm just going to choose let's go for this uh, magenta dye here okay that's all the ingredients i need so i'm going to press escape go to my crafting table and now i'm going to add from my latex i'm going to add one unit on the two columns, one on the left and one on the right. So one unit of latex okay, on the left and the right. I'm going to add my dye, one unit of dye here. I'm going to add my lead at the bottom because the lead is going to be at the bottom of the balloon. And I'm going to add helium in the middle. Look at that, I've got a balloon. Now I can take this balloon now and add this to my inventory. And well, what can I do with that? Well, let's have a look. I'm going to press escape. I'm just going to go over to one of these <laughs> spawned animals. I'm going to select my balloon. And by right clicking on this cow, whoa, there he goes. I've got a flying cow. Look at that. Yeah, children are going to have a lot of fun doing this, but they're going to learn at the same time. You can actually make any animal fly away. There you go. Let's make this horse fly away as well. Okay, now there's there's just so many things you can do with, with the different uh, units that you've got here. Now I'm going to show you very quickly the, the PDF document, which I'm going to give a link to at the bottom in the description. And that basically shows you everything that you can create. So, so here's a PDF document, which you can acquire by clicking uh, the link, the download link in the description below. And you can see in this document, you've got the different items that you can use 
for example, the element constructor, the compound creator. There's also the lab table. I didn't go into this, but if you want to go into the lab table as well, there's a few things that you can create within the lab table uh, and you can see what those things are here. It basically explains the element constructor, the compound creator, the craft table compound. So these are things that you can make in your uh, craft table compounds here. And it basically goes through everything that you can actually create. And where's the one that we just made? Latex, for example. There it is there. Okay, so latex here is actually five carbon and eight, eight hydrogen. You can see that there nice and clearly. Okay, so this basically gives you everything that you can actually create using your compound creator. And at the bottom, you've got the lab table. Um, again, these are the things that you can create with the lab table. Again, there's not that many products that you can create, but a good one is the ice bomb. And to create an ice bomb, it basically tells you here you use, you need four sodium acetate. To figure out how to create sodium acetate, well, you can go to the crafting table compounds up here and you should, there it is there. So to create sodium acetate, that's your combination that you're going to need. You're going to need two carbon, three hydrogen, one sodium and two oxygen and with that you're going to be able to create sodium acetate now once you've created sodium acetate you can go to the lab table add four items of sodium acetate and that will create an ice bomb which are actually quite fun because you can throw them around okay that's it if you've learned something new you learned something interesting make sure you click like and make sure to subscribe so you can be informed of the next video that comes out. Take care. Bye-bye.